Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Today, I think it's time to go and grind a few nether, uh, withers, <laughs> nethers. So we want some nether stars, that's what I was thinking about. Anyway, let's start with that one. I have prepared some stuff, I hope. Uh, it should be in this chest. Nope, those are the seeds. Oh, I know it is, it's outside ready. <clears throat> I've prepared a little space at the back here because we don't get any mobs coming in anymore. And I've sealed up the glass on the roof there so we don't get any coming in that way either. So here I've prepared a space. But I'm going to knock this off because it, the, what I was doing here is that I really want it on the other side, I think. Is you've got a button here, show, show working area. So you can see how this how far this thing does. So it's doing the whole of this area plus one block, block behind it. So let's just uh, pick up these machines. Let's pick X for these. And RF tool cells. Is that actually increasing? It should be. Um, let me just check it. Oh, yes, it's increasing. Good. I think it is. Yes. I have bought. I made something special. I made one of these flux capacitor resident. And it holds 25 million RF, so it used to pull the air RF in the thing. And with that, you can simply shift right click and it will charge up the jetpack, which is quite nice. So let's pick up this. I need the RF tools wrench for this one. I will just break away these here like this. We don't need those. With a pickaxe. <laughs> break away a bit more than I wanted to do, never mind. Put that in there. So I'm going to put those on this side here. And I think we need it probably back one block here. That'll probably do. And you put it down in the direction you want it to face. I think that's right, yeah? So let's, let's have a look and see what the area of this one is. So the same. It's doing right to the edge of that. So what I'm going to do... Let's turn that off. What I'm going to do is we need to power this thing up here. Um, in fact, what I'm going to remove some of this stuff. I don't need this anymore, do I? The days of grinding mobs here has long since gone. <laughs> So let's just get rid of this one. I think we could use that for a mob fan. Good. And I got some upgrades from there as well. Fan upgrades. So let's put some down. I think we should put some. Yeah, that'll do fine. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here, actually, having done that, I'm going to push bash this out again. Like this. So what I'm going to do is I want this, it's probably got, it's got no RF in it at the moment. So we're going to charge it up. Now the way I'm going to do this is slightly different this time. I'm going to use the power cell, like that. I'm going to connect the power cell between here and here. We, as I need this as an output face, let's right click that twice. Um, between here, underneath this. So let's have a look at that. So that's what these two transfer pipes are for. Like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put another transfer pipe on here, and you'll see why in a second. See, what I've done is I've made some nodes, transfer nodes, all, all types actually. So I've got here transfer node energy, and that's what I'm going to put onto here, like that. And then that will actually start to charge. Well, it's already done, in fact, it's charged up already straight away, as you can see. Very, f quite good, these transfer pipes actually. So the next one. Um, I didn't take it out. I want to take it out. Let's put a drum down here and a chest. So the drum's going to catch the experience. Put that down there. And the chest is going to catch the um, drops. Like that. Don't need to shift on that one, did I? So what we do is I'm going to put one more piece of pipe. I've got, I made a few just in case. I put it down here like this. And you'll see that connects up to all of these things. What I want to do now is I actually want to... Um, I probably don't even need to do that. I have one underneath there, do I? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put onto this a retrieval node. So I want a transfer node. I want a retrieval node items like this. And because it's very near, it works reasonably well. If it's quite a long way away, it actually doesn't work so well. And the other one I'm going to use is a retrieval node fluids. So what that's going to do 
it's going to retrieve the items or stuff out of here like that so let's get on make some reinforced obsidian and i need to make quite a lot of reinforced obsidian let's in fact move this out of here i do need some more of these later on but not just yet so i've got all of this stuff in here we don't need that we do need this and this and i'm going to use some dirty glass because that's uh we make some reinforced glass with that one so let's have a look at the uses of that we can make reinforced glass so let's do that so that will give us uh should give us 12 that's what i want to build anyway so we can see the wither getting ground the other bit i need to make is some um bars iron bars in fact i need to make all of these i think maybe not exactly all we'll start with that for a start and then we want some reinforced obsidian now reinforced obsidian who told me about reinforced obsidian sir harry told me about reinforced ob sir obsidian that's being one probably one of the best it also works with the the glass because i tested it out just to be sure i didn't want any nasty surprises now let's have a look at reinforced obsidian is this one with a proof that will give me two stacks I need more we'll put those down first of all I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a cautious approach to doing this I'm going to do a double layer now the wither is going to sit basically here where I am standing at the moment it was going to sit in this gap here so we need to fill in this area first of all and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double layer of this stuff like that and in the middle let's get my wand out here I'm going to put a piece of dirt because this is where what I'm going to put in here I think the middle is here. Maybe I've miscalculated that actually. One, two. Oh, I have. That's not so good. Let's get out of there. We need to take these two off the, here like this. Let's do that. It's too big. Because the wither's going to sit and spawn, I hope. He's going to spawn. Oh, actually, let's look. He's going to be spawning like this, isn't he? So his, his base will be down there. So that'll be his, that'll be the bottom of his legs. Let me just pick up this dirt over here. And put those on top of it like that. So I want two blocks either side of that to be absolutely safe. I think I made too many, so let's just get rid of these here. It takes a while. In fact, let's just do this as if that actually works as well. It does good. So I can fill this, in fact, in. Let's do that as well. Good. I think that's what we need to do. Hopefully I don't spend the whole episode doing this anyway. So what I wanted was a piece of dirt. Let's get this piece of dirt here. Because I want the next piece of dirt underneath this exactly where we are. So let's get that down like that. And put the piece of dirt here. So that's where the that's where the um That's where the wither maker or the wither spawn is going to be put down. I'm not actually sure what it's called now thinking about it. So some, the, the wither fabricator possibly. Like that. I think that's the way I want to do this. I'm not going to look at this. I'm going, hmm, I ain't sure. I've got another oh I think I've got another row here let's just put this one down here like that and then we can put this back so I have actually misplaced this I think I was looking at it going it's not where I want it to be is it so right the middle block is then here huh. 
typical. Let's remove that one. Then I have to dig this one out here. It's not actually all that obvious when you're looking at it. Even now I'm looking at it and counting it. Can I count these blocks properly? Right, good. That goes there. So that's the middle. So we then want another layer on top of this, like this. So let's put down a layer. And make sure that that middle bit is actually filled in. So this is actually going to be the base of the thing. So, so this time we'll put in this one. I'll put the dirt down. Let's put the dirt down here. Where do these pictures keep appearing from? Like that. Okay, good. I'll put that there. Right, now we know where everything is. That's good. Fine. So the next thing I'm going to do... Actually, I should get some more dirt, shouldn't I? I should have another piece of dirt, in fact. Oh! They break into something weird. Let's have a look. No, I don't have any dirt there. Never mind, we'll have to do it the, the hard way. So let's put these blocks down here like this. So that'll be the three blocks, and then you're going to have two blocks on the outside of this. So let's just fill in that, like that. So that's the design. Okay, you, under, you can see that, can't you? So I've got one block too short. So that's that row done. So now that'll be the um, legs. In fact, let's pick this one up, in fact. This will be the body, and then we need the head. So we need to go above that. So let's make some more obsidian. Reinforced obsidian. Uh, I think we need some more bars. And I've got a feeling I only need... I'll take away th three of these, I think. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. So let's have a look at that now. I don't need to turn everything into bars if I can, if I can avoid it. Let's do this one. What do we get? 64 and 12. Now I've got my climbing gloves on, so let's just put this down like this. Ah, yes, that's it. I'm making a boob. What I want to do here is I want to put the glass in here, so let's do that. In fact, it's probably easy if I come down here and then change it to a 3x3, three three, huh? Yeah, let's do that. 3x3 three three shape. I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think it might even be here. Let's just take this out. Because this is where I want to put the 12 pieces of glass. Yeah, I think that's correct. So let's get the glass out of here before I do that. Forget about that. So we can actually see what's going on inside it. Ah. Nope, I wanted one more layer up, don't I? Because that's going to be the body and then we need the head. Sorry about this. I do apologise. Let's just get rid of this stuff. Let's get changed up to none before I forget. Right, good. <laughs> right, one, two. Now I could put down the glass. get the one and put the second layer up that should be the top layer of the glass anyway so we got up here now and we've put down the rest of these let's stand on to that so that'll be the row of his head so we need two more layers on top of this like that yep that will do so how many pieces of Oh, we're getting a bit high, aren't I? Let's have a look. Okay, fine. I'll do it this side. If I can. I'm not sure I can, actually. I oh, know I need to go back a bit. Let's take the hammer out and just knock another layer back up here. This one. 
quite a big structure when you're finished. Uh, let's make a bit more space so we can see what we're doing. I thought I'd dug it. I thought I'd dug it out enough, but I haven't, obviously. Right. Now I have to leave a little bit of space, so let's go down here and get the rest of this what we need. But I'm going to make all of it, I think. I did calculate how much we need, and it should be enough for that. So let's have a look at the recipe for this. Sixteen. I'm not sure that's enough to be honest with you. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna have to knock this down whether I like it or not. Good. So there's one missing here, so I'll put that. The reason I'm doing it double there is because of um something that uh Melekwa said, he said, he said somebody was doing this and they got a blight, um, a blight, and the trouble with the blights is they could actually teleport out one block. So now we need to basically put down, I think it's three, it's probably not enough actually, I probably need another. <laughs> so it should be one there and one there. Is that right? No, <laughs> typical. Oh, yeah, that one's right. This one's wrong. Okay, good. That's not so bad. Let's just knock this one off. Because normally what I do in here is I put a, she'll put a structure in it, but today I didn't. Right, good. And we do need a space to go down there. So what do we need now? We need one two three blocks okay so I've got enough obsidian I don't think how much have I got oh, I've got enough for that but I need some more obsidian let's get some more I think what happened is when I calculated this I calculated for reinforced obsidian and not um, the glass what's it gone to gone too far And I think the glass uses five obsidian. So, recipe. Actually, just one more set will do, won't it? So I didn't uh, miscalculate those by a bit, as I thought I would do. Right, so. Now it's basically time. Um, this is ready. We can right click this and have a look at the show. The, Show the working area. So it's going to grind everything in this in this whole area, including right back one block here as well, which is good. I don't need that anymore. It's powered up and it's ready. So what I need is some sandstone and some heads. I don't need those two with us anymore, do we? Let's go up to the top. So, why I'm down here is because well, one block, I can't actually reach the top of this. So let's dig up this dirt first of all. Oh, let's use this one. Okay, so we now put down the sandstone. Uh, sandstone. So I'll, go down, I'll jump down and do it that way. It's probably easiest, isn't it? So, one. I can put one up here. This is where you can't reach, so you've got to go do it this way. Now you can reach. So now we need the heads. Before I do the heads, I'm going to get ready with this, the reinforced. So I'm going to put one down there, like that. One down here, like that. And this is where we cross our breath. And this is where we cross our breath, as it were. So I have to be down here to do the next one. And so I've got to be quick. So I put. So make sure I'm right at the back. Like that. 
put that one down, click that and click that, get out and then click that and then just get out of the way a bit. That's it. Bang. <laughs> it's as simple as that. After all that, it's as simple as that. And we should have in here some items. In fact, so premium essence is pretty good and you get fluid. Now you watch this fluid, it'll be pulled, it'll get pulled out of here. Slow, because it's coming into this tank here. Uh, 1200, well, bucket and a bit at the moment, 1.2 buckets. And in here, we'll have all the items. So we've got our nether star. So we're gonna go and use this nether star straight away and make the next part of this process. And that's the, the wither fabricator. So, now, and I think it's this block here. No, with, with a buff muffler. Uh, this one. So, we need two heads, which we should have all of these bits actually, except for this machine frame, because that's going to require a block of iron, uh, which I haven't got yet. So, we can put that into here like this and make a machine frame. And now I think we should have everything we need. Let's just see if that works. No, I'm missing two. Oh, I only took a couple out, didn't I? Right. Let's just take two out of here. So we have this block. So let's go and put this down and have a look at what this does. This is actually quite neat. So you put it down like this. And you look at the look at the show the working area, and it's like this. So those stripes go in the direction of the wither, and the wither is one block above this. So that's basically what we want. So let's go put this down, see so if we can get everything to work. Now it will need power, and it will also need. Um, a way of getting the items in here. So go down here. Like that. In fact, I can knock this one. I feel like that. So this is the place where I want to put it, isn't it? So we should count one, two blocks in that direction. The only thing I'm not 100% sure about when I do this, of course, is which way around to put it. Let's just double check that. Okay, so I have to put it around the other direction. Okay, fine. Like this, I think. So let's have a look at that. Let's show that one. Show the working area. We can't see this so well. Can I get out of here? Ha! Can I not get out? How did I get in here? I can't get out. I must be able to get out. Yeah, it's the wrong way around. Uh, so that won't work. I have to turn it around. Let's try that again then. Let's put it on th this way. Maybe that's the right one this time, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I didn't turn on the working area, did I? No, I've still got that one way around. Okay. Third time lucky, I hope. <laughs> if not, I'll have to bash up some more bits and pieces and do it that way. Let's put it on this one like that. Show working area. What's wrong with this thing? Does it not go that way? It must do. Tell you what, let's do it this like this then. Let's break this window. Let's put what we got away. I don't need any of this stuff at the moment, do I? I want the soul sand and I will we'll want this with the skeleton skulls. Maybe I have to just do it, put it in the other way around and see how it works. So let's just take this away. Get rid of these 12 blocks. They don't take a second to put back in again anyway, do they? Just take a while to break. <laughs> Right, good. 
so if I now can break this block here that's where this thing should be the reason I'm doing it like this is we can see from here which way the, the bars are going Okay. Oh, maybe it's easy just to. Oh, I've got an idea. I've probably been daft, you know. It wouldn't be the first time and it won't be the last. Let's remove that. I want the bars to go this way, don't I? Now that looks right. Let's show the area. It isn't right. Okay, let's just rotate it with a a crescent hammer. I think a crescent hammer will rotate this. It does. Oh. Well, that's a blow. <laughs> Whatever I do, it's not going to do it in there. Oh, maybe I have to turn it off. Tell you what. That way, huh? Show area off and on. No, it's, it's being very uh, determined. Try that again. Okay, so I have to just redesign this a little bit. Oh boy, that's not actually not such a problem. It just means breaking some blocks and putting some more back. But that is a bit of a nuisance, so, so let's get rid of this. So I basically break this one off here. Wait very patiently because it's going to take a while. Right. And then we need to do it this way. The trouble is I need to then set everything back. But we can leave everything where it is, I think. This will be a problem. This will drill right down, but that doesn't matter either. <laughs> So now we see where our wither is. It wants to be done, and I think, yes, that looks okay. Okay, so we just fill in, this, fill in the holes. I don't have enough bits because I've got a row too many on the outside, haven't I? One, two, three, yep. I need to basically take off this row from the outside. I don't think of a better way of doing this, in fact. I prove. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. This is going to take me a while. I'll tell you what. I'll just pause the video. Well, I'm back. It took me a long time. I even got another heart in the process as I was getting attacked by um, some embers. So what I'm going to do this time is to put this chest down here like this. And then put onto this one a transfer node to push items out. Very compact. This isn't it at the moment. So we've got some transfer nodes. And we'll put this one down on here like this. We need a filter in that one, so let's set up a filter. Because what we want to do is we only want to transfer out of this out of this one, soul sand and other skeleton skulls. So that's we put that into here like that. So now it needs power. I haven't drawn power. Let's go and do the power. Power should just I should just need to connect that cable to so where else we should just be able to go let's go down here a bit i think three yes it's the middle one we shouldn't be standing on that one i'm doing this but it's got a jetpack anyway so our cable comes here so all i need to do now because it's got the stone connector on it the reason I'm doing this actually is to demonstrate this as much as anything else. Let's just, I'll need to have some space. Yes. 
Not put that on there, okay. Why can't I put that on there? I'm in the way of that thing. Yes, I can, good. Ah, <laughs> still in the way. Right, go. So now we should be able to connect this across like this. And this should now have power. And it has. So all we need, need to do, turn that we don't need to hide that have that in, on anymore. Turn it on. See if we get a success. That was a bit of a pain actually. We'll just put in four of these. And they should disappear out. And we should even be able to see those being put down. I can't. We have to put the... Uh... Oh yes, there we go. I should get all pieces into place. Yep. Obviously fairly slow. But it doesn't matter very much. Put three, three heads in here. And let's get out of the way. And watch this thing. Hopefully it'll work this direction. I haven't actually tested this. This is something new. I don't see why it shouldn't. I don't want to be in the flames, so we go. One more, and I think it should just go. And we got one with a skeleton skull, and it's not attacking it. Why not? Does it have to be in a special position? Oh, it's not fired yet, has it? There we go. Of course. So this time, we've got one of these, which we need a withering skull. A withering skull and a not. Uh, a knockback. So let's put some more in here. Um, another four. Another three. In fact, I don't know if this is the best way to do it or not, but we'll find out. We need to do this about five times, I think. In fact, I don't see why I can't put all of the salt sand in here. That's probably got a funny number in there anyway so we shall see it is very slow I think that's the actual um, here I think it's the transfer node that's actually slow because it's got to search for the places for it to go into but the head should already be in there by now let's have a look I did put the head in, I didn't tie, no, I didn't. Will they go through, that's the question. Or are they going to get blocked in here? Yes, they're going to get blocked in there, okay, good. <laughs> now that you see, this is the how it, it slow it is, because it's a transfer node. But the advantage is you only need one pipe, it's a bit, acts a bit like Ender I.O. There we go, and one more I guess, and then it starts. Hard to see because we've got there we go. In fact, what happened there? Did it put down another piece of salt sand? So what have we got in here now? We've got two of these, which is actually great because that means that's what we need. We get some supremium essence, which is actually fantastic. The amount of effort those things take to make is just ridiculous. Um, let's do another three. Let that get on with it. And we'll come back and pick those up. So the next thing I'm going to do in this episode is a little bit of automation. I think we've got a time to do this. Um... I was going to show you some seeds. Let's do that first because that's probably the, probably slightly more interesting. I've done mo I've done all the tier two seeds now. Let's have a look at that. Um, quests. 
And the one I haven't finished was this, was one of those. Let's have a look. Oh, that's going to get rid of some of the stuff. Oops, I jumped a bit there, didn't I? So premium essence. Let's put that into there like that. So I've got an Inferium Tier 5 seed, now extra one, which we can then use to make the Inferium 6 seed. Now, where have I put that stuff for this? I think it's in here. Yes, it is, look. So I've got a Tier... I've got to get rid of these. I don't need these with me either. I've got a Tier 3 crafting seed. I've got some fire seeds, and I should have some coal seeds, which are Tier 2. Bang, there he goes again. And this stuff, and I need some. Yeah, that's good. I've got everything. Else. Oh no, I want more item in there. I need this. Now, <clears throat> the hard bit. I'll have a quick check that everything's <laughs> still in place and nothing's no withered sign up there. The hard bit here was these, the mystical flowers, and the recipe for that is flowers. And I'm going. Oh, how do we get flowers? Because you can grow tall flowers. I'll show you how to do that by simply putting petals down. So if we put down a petal, I've my inventory a bit on the full side, like this. This is actually Bob the Big Bat told me this as well. So you put this petal down like that, and then you can put your bone meal in. I've got some fortune one and some is <laughs> strange things. And you get a tall one. Now you can't use this tall one. The tall one is great though, because you can you take a pair of shears, um, I don't know what I'm doing with all the bits and pieces actually, it's a, it's a bit strange I've got, that'll go in there fine. Um, so I need a pair of shears to do this, Good, that'll do. So you can shear these, and you get this tall mystical flower, and when you do that tall mystical flower you get four, so that's the way to make more, more petals, which you need for Britannia. I'm going, mm, how do I actually get this to, to do what I want? And you have to, what you have to do is you have to take these four Mr. Petals and turn those into a powder like this. Get these flora powders. I think the recipe, in fact, I'm going to have to use my indexer because I haven't got a crafting table with me just down here. And let's have a look at this now. So the recipe I want is for... Um, it's fertiliser. It's magical fertiliser, I think. this stuff which you make with ground and a bone meal so we just like that and then we've got this floral fertilizer and with the floral fertilizer all you do is you right click it and you get plants and these ones you can then use these ones I think you don't even have to use shears on those actually you just break them like that there's four here like this the fourth one I made I can run out of inventory space again let's just remove this out of the way and that for the time being and then with that we can then actually make it even though I've got four different flowers so if I now look at the recipe for this I need to do that differently don't I, I need to do that with the indexer so if I now look for the recipe for this one unable to move items I probably haven't got four in my inventory have I let's have a look one two three no the blue one I've not picked up always Let's just pick up the blue one. Um, yes, just about to it, I think. Where's the blue flower gone to? Ah, oh, there it is. So now I can do it. So the recipe for this is like that. And then you get all of these mystical flower clusters. So it's, it's as simple as that. And then we can use those mystical flower clusters to make the last flower. So let's do that. And that will actually complete that quest. So we want the uses of these. I got one extra, and then that will make a mystical flower seed, which we can then plant. Oh, the same with the coal one. So now we've completed two 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 seeds. Let's go and claim that quest. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down very fast and click it. Actually what you can do is you can click here and click try again. Click click no wrong place. Click click and then you can get it that way. And now we've completed this one. We get a loot chest which we can claim. Done. Hopefully we've got space and then it'll take us to th tier three seeds. So we'd have to make obsidian redstone, 
nether quartz, iron seeds and a tier 3 crafting seed. In fact, I've already made most, pretty well most of that anyway, but we'll leave that for another time. So, that's it for this episode. There were a few more things I wanted to do, but I'll leave that for next time. So until then, bye for now.